your girl Kai and I am back with another video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Before we get started, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. So I'm going to just get right into it. I'm going to let you guys know that this video is my full wash day routine. I got down with it in the shower showing y'all everything of how I wash my hair, what I wash my hair with, how I condition, and the whole overall is satisfying. Just satisfying my hair in the shower and just how I wash it and condition it and what my wash day routine is really like i'm going to tell you it's not a bunch of steps it's wash condition style period none more none less that's it so thank you guys so much for tuning in i'm gonna stop talking now don't forget like comment and subscribe and let's get right into this video hey y'all so we are just going to get right into this video this is my hair it is dirty it's itchy it's dry it's everything above and i'm just wanting to show you guys the front and the back and how frizzy it gets so we're just gonna go ahead and get it wet be sure to saturate my hair completely from root to tip and just make sure that it is all just nice and wet oh my goodness this water feels so good on my scalp after a long week I was trying to be kind of cute while I was uh, <laughs> getting my hair wet. I was trying to be a little cute for y'all, just a little cute. My hair was itching. I could not wait to wash my hair. So now I'm gonna go on with the Maui Moisture Color Protection Sea Minerals Shampoo. It's for color treated hair. It fade, defy, smooth, hydrate. It's rich in sea minerals, pure algae, and lush sea kelp. It's also sulfate free. Even though it says it's sulfate free, it still said. It still says the like completely and gave me a bunch of suds because I don't know about y'all, but I like suds. I gotta get some more because I didn't have enough and I had to put it in the middle of my hair just to make sure that everything was covered in shampoo because I just had so much buildup on my scalp and my hair. Because I use a lot of gel, I like to really get a good cleanse. So I'm perfectly okay with products really stripping my hair. I definitely go in a lot on my edges because that's where I put majority of the gel. And I just want to get all of it out so that my next wash and go can be on a nice clean slate. When I wash my hair, I'm sure to use the pads of my fingers. However, this time my hair was itching so bad that I was actually scratching. But I really just had to stop myself and just work with the pads of my fingers. I just added a little bit more water to that shampoo to suds it up even more and I tried to scrub in a way where I am not tangling my hair because that makes it harder for when it's time to style. So I'm just going to keep on washing my hair and just going from root to tip and I'll come back and show you guys when I put the conditioner in my hair.
I know most people usually wash their hair twice. However, because I got such a good cleanse from the Maui Moisture Sea Mineral Shampoo, I just decided to wash my hair only one time because the way it felt, it was just so clean that I didn't feel the need to go in and wash it for a second time. And also the water is cool water. Now I'm going in with the Maui Moisture Heal and Hydrate Shea Butter Shampoo, Shea Butter Conditioner, excuse me. And I'm going in with a ton of that conditioner. As I'm going in with this conditioner, I'm raking my fingers through, just trying to detangle as much as I can before I get out of the shower and decide to style my hair. And also the water that I'm using is not boiling hot water. Whenever I'm washing my hair, I always use lukewarm or cool water, as cool as I can take it, because it just makes my hair less frizzy. The hotter the water, my hair frizzes so badly. So to prevent any unnecessary frizzing and just make and just to make my wash and go and my styling process easier, I do not use piping hot water on my hair. What I love about this conditioner is that y'all can literally see my curls coming back to life after just being stripped from the shampoo. And I just love this conditioner. It has so much slip to it. It added so much slip to my hair that I was just able to really detangle really good with my fingers. I definitely have some music playing and that's why I am jamming. If you don't play music while you're in the shower, what are you doing? This is how much hair I lost on that side. So now that I'm done putting the conditioner all through my hair, I'm just gonna put that section away. and I'm gonna go ahead and finish my shower. So now it has been about five, 10 minutes because I just went ahead and I will usually finish my shower if I wasn't filming this in a swimsuit as y'all could see. I would have just finished my shower and then went right on in to rinse it out. So this is my hair. You can see that the life is being brought back to it because shampoos really strip my hair. They really get everything out of it, especially with the sea minerals. It just makes sure my hair is getting a really good cleanse. A, A. <laughs> but now I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse that conditioner out. I do not rinse all of the conditioner out of my head. I only just rinse majority of it out of my hair. I probably leave about 30% of conditioner in my hair because I just think that it's good for my hair. And when I begin to style it, I just have some type of base to start off with.
all right you guys so this is my hair completely rinsed out with just a little bit of conditioner in it it is fully detangled and i'm about to hop out of the shower thank you guys so much for tuning in and i'll see you in the next video